November 18, Ezekiel 27, 1 to 28, 26. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, No son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyre, and say to Tyre, You who are situated at the entrance of the sea, merchant of the peoples on many coastlands, thus says the Lord God, O Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty. Your borders are in the midst of the seas. Your builders have perfected your beauty. They made all your planks of fir trees from Sinar. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make you a mast. Of oaks from Bashan, they made your oars. The company of Asherites have inlaid your planks with ivory from the coasts of Cyprus fine embroidered linen from Egypt was what you spread for your sail. Blue and purple from the coasts of Elisha was what covered you. Inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your oarsmen. Your wise men of Tyre were in you. They became your pilots. Elders of Gibal and its wise men were in you to coke your seams. All the ships of the sea and their oarsmen were in you to market your merchandise. Those from Persia, Lydia, and Libya were in your army as men of war. They hung shields and helmets in you. They gave splendor to you. Men of Arvad with your army were on your walls all around. And the men of Gamad were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around they made your beauty perfect tarshish was your merchant because of your many luxury goods they gave you silver iron tin lead for your goods javan tubal and meshek were your traders they bartered human lives and vessels of bronze for your merchandise those from the house of tugarma traded for your wares with horses, steeds, and mules. The men of Didan were your traders. Many isles were the market of your hand. They brought your ivory, they brought you ivory, tusks, and ebony as payment. Sierra was your merchant because of the abundance of goods you made. They gave you for your wares emeralds, purple, embroidery, fine linen, corals, and rubies. Judah and the land of Israel were your traders. They traded for your merchandise, wheat of Meneth, millet, honey, oil, and balm. Damascus was your merchant because of the abundance of goods you made, because of your many luxury items, with the wine of Helbon and with the white wool. Dan and Javan paid for your wares, traversing back and forth. Wrote iron, kasha, and cane were among your merchandise. Dedan was your merchant of saddle cloths for riding. Arabia and all the princes of Gedar were your regular merchants. They traded with you in lambs, rams, and goats. The merchants of Sheba and Rama were your merchants. They traded for your Wears the choicest spices, all kinds of precious stones and gold. Haran, Kani, Eden, the merchants of Sheba, Syria, and Jilmad were your merchants. These were your merchants in choice items, in purple clothes, in embroidered garments, in chests of multicolored apparel, in sturdy woven cords which were in your marketplace. The ships of Tarshish were car carriers of your merchandise. You are filled and very glorious in the midst of the seas. Your oarsmen brought you into many waters, but the east wind broke you in the midst of the seas. Your riches, wares, and merchandise, your mariners and pilots, your cokers and merchandisers, all your men of war who are in you, and the entire company which is in your midst will fall into the midst of the seas on the day of your ruin. The common land will shake at the sound of the cry of your pilots. 
all who handle the oar, the mariners, all the pilots of the sea, will come down from their ships and stand on the shore. They will make their voice heard because of you. They will cry bitterly and cast dust on their heads. They will roll about in ashes. They will shave themselves completely bald because of you, gird themselves with sackcloth and weep for you, with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing in their wailing for you. They will take up a lamentation and lament for you. What city is like Tyre, destroyed in the midst of the sea? When your wares went out by sea, you satisfied many people. You enriched the kings of the earth with your many luxury goods and your merchandise. But you are broken by the seas in the depths of the waters. Your merchandise and the entire company will fall in your midst. All the inhabitants of the isles will be astonished at you. Their kings will be greatly afraid and their countenance will be troubled. The merchants among the peoples will hiss at you. You will become a horror and be no more forever. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, Because your heart is lifted up, and you say, I am a God, I sit I sit in the seat of gods in the midst of the seas, yet you are a man, and not a God. Though you are set though you set your heart as a heart of a God, behold, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that can be hidden from you. With your wisdom and your understanding, you have gained riches for yourself and gathered gold and silver into your treasuries, but your great wisdom in trade you have increased your riches by your great wisdom in trade you have increased your riches and your heart is lifted up because of your riches therefore thus says the lord god because you have set your heart as a heart of a god behold therefore i will bring strangers against you the most terrible of the nations and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor they shall throw you down into the pit and you shall die the death of the slain in the midst of the seas will you still say before him who slays you i am a god but you shall be a man and not a god in the hand of him who slays you you shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hands of ill aliens for i have spoken says the lord god moreover the word of the lord came to me saying son of man take up a lamentation for the king of tyre and say to him thus says the lord god you were the seal of perfection full of wisdom and perfect in beauty you were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you. By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with violence within, and you sinned. Therefore, I cast you as a profane thing out of the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the fiery stones. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. I cast you to the ground. I laid you before a king so that they might gaze at you. You defiled your sanctuaries by the multitude of your iniquities, by, in by the iniquity of your trading. Therefore, I brought fire from your midst. It devoured you, and I turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all who saw you, all who knew 
You among the peoples are astonished at you. You have become a horror and shall be no more forever. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face towards Sidon and prophesy against her and say, Thus says to the Lord God, Behold, I am against you. O Sidon, I will be glorified in your midst. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I execute judgments in her and I and am hallowed in her. For I will send pestilence upon her and blood in her streets. The wounded shall be judged in her midst by the sword against her on every side. And they shall know that I am the Lord. And there shall no longer be a pricking briar or a painful thorn that the house of Israel from among all who are around them who despise them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, when I have gathered the house of Israel from the peoples among them, they are scattered and am hallowed in them in the sight of the Gentiles, then they will dwell in their own land which I gave to my servant Jacob, and they will dwell safely there, build houses, and plant vineyards. Yes, they will dwell securely when I execute judgment on all those around them who despise them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord their God. Psalm 129, 1-4 A Song of Ascents Many a time they have afflicted me from my mouth or from my youth. Let Israel now say, Many a time they have afflicted me from my youth. Yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed on my back. They made their furious long. The Lord is righteous. He has cut in pieces the cords of the wicked. Proverbs 28.26 He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but whoever walks wisely will be delivered. Hebrews 12.1-29 Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us and let us run in let us run with endurance the race that is set before us looking unto unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy that was sent before him endured the cross despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your souls. You have not yet resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin, and you have forgotten the ex- the exhortation which speaks to you as to sons my son do not despise this chastening of the lord nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him for whom the lord loves he chastens and scourges every son whom he receives if you endure chastening god deals with you as with sons for what son is there whom a father does not chasten but if you are without chastening of which all have become partakers then you are illegitimate and not sons furthermore we have had human fathers who corrected us and we pay them respect shall we not much more readily be in subjection to the father of spirits and live for they indeed for a few days chastened us as seemed best to them for he for our profit that we may be partakers of his holiness now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present but painful 
Nevertheless, afterward, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen the hands which hand down, and the feeble knees, and make straights, and make straight paths for your feet, so that what is lame may not be dislocated, but rather be healed. Pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the Lord, looking carefully list any one fall short of the grace of God, least any root of bitterness springing up, cause trouble, and by this many become defiled, least there be any fornicator or profane person like Esau, who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. For you know that afterward, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place for repentance, though he sought it diligently with tears. For you, ho, for you have not come to the mountain that may be touched and not burned with fire, and to blackness and darkness and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words, so that those who heard it begged that the so that the word should not be spoken to them any more for they could not endure what was commanded and if so much as a beast touches the mountain it shall be stoned or shot with an arrow and so terrifying was the sight but moses said i am exceedingly afraid and trembling but you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the, heaven, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven, to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaks better things than that of Abel. See that you do not refuse him who speaks, for if they did not escape who refused him who spoke on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth. But now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not only the earth, but also heaven. Now this, yet once more, indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken, as of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire. Amen and amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, and Holy Spirit, for your goodness, your faithfulness in our lives, O oh Lord. Thank you, God, for your word, and your word is true, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that is that your word is powerful, God that it will never return void, O oh Lord, that it should accomplish its purpose, Lord. Hallelujah. I pray right now, God, that you bless the reading of your word and its outgoing, O oh Lord, that it may touch the hearts of your creation, Lord, and transform the lives of your children. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that you give us desires, Lord, all purely coming from you, God, and not in this world. The desires, O oh Lord, to love you even more, God, because you deserve all the love in this world. Hallelujah. That the desire, O oh God, to trust in you more, to believe in you more, to walk according to your will. Nothing is impossible in you, Lord. Stretch out your arms, Lord, and draw us closer to you. You are holy, God. You are mighty. You are great. You're amazing, you're wonderful. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen.